Before you can sew, you need some equipment. Let's talk about what's available. The range price-wise is amazing. Here, for example, we have a little sewing machine that costs $79. The suggested retail on this machine is $2,800. And there are machines that go all the way up to $12,000. Some of the features on this reasonably priced machine are a needle position. You can set the stitch length or the stitch width. This means you have a zigzag and you can manually sew buttonholes. The machine will also stitch backwards so you can back tack. Of course, there's a tension control. This machine offers a few more things for the money. You have a tray that is removable, so you have a free arm here to slide sleeves on when you're stitching. It, of course, goes backwards and forwards and has zigzag stitches, but it also has decorative stitches and built-in buttonholes. One of the favorite features of most sewers is automatic needle threading. Also, there's usually a feature for automatic thread clipping which is a very handy thing when you're sewing lots of little seams. You end up without having threads all over your floor. Other features such as a computer screen to help guide your sewing, the ability to raise and lower the presser foot so you can accommodate each specific fabric accordingly, and then a whole variety of presser feet which will help you do things like sew in a zipper, free motion embroidery. The best advice on buying a sewing machine is to buy the best machine that you can afford. This particular sewing machine has two other features, a foot control that will alter the position of the needle and a knee lift, which you press with your knee and it will lift or lower your presser foot. These are sergers, and even though this isn't a machine that you'll need as a beginning sewer, they're nice machines to have, and you should see what they do. They won't substitute for a regular sewing machine. This is an early little serger. You can see a lot of tension discs on here. Early sergers were a little difficult in threading and getting to run. New sergers are fabulous because they thread themselves automatically and they have automatic tensions. A serger will sew a seam, trim an edge, and overcast the edge in one pass. So it makes finishing the insides of your clothes and your hems very efficient and easy. You may be surprised to learn that when you're sewing, you'll spend as much time at your ironing board as you do at your sewing machine. Irons range in price from under $30 to close to $1,000. But the ones that are most common are right around the $150 range, like this iron. This has an automatic shutoff, it has burst of steam, and anti-drip. On the other hand, this iron is under $30. It steams just fine. It has a Teflon surface. It doesn't turn off automatically, which many, non, many sewers prefer. Then you'll also need some other pressing tools. This is a ham. It helps you shape garment parts like shoulders, bust lines, and sleeve caps. It's a nice thing to have to help you tailor a garment. This is my favorite pressing tool because you can press curved seams open, tight little curved areas open. You can push this right down into a point and press on it, and it will hold your ham when you're pressing on it. A sleeve board is also handy. You slide it into a sleeve and you can press open seams, or you can slide it into a pant leg too. Then everybody needs a press cloth. This is a piece of silk organza. It's not too expensive. You can see through it so you can see exactly what you're pressing and it helps keep your fabric from getting shiny from the iron. The last two pieces of equipment that you need are pins and scissors. And we'll talk more about these in a later program.